Hello everyone and welcome to Harv's World where we are taking a look at 30 mods I can't live without. This comes from a subscriber request by a young man who calls himself G Meister. I get a lot of new players on my on my channel who are always looking for more information and they've asked me repeatedly, Harv, what mods do you install? Well these are the 30 mods that always get added to my mod folder whenever I start up a new map on Farm Sim. G Meister, I hope this helps you out, bud. Now, all of these are available on the Mod Hub. Most of them are PC only. I have to let you know up front. Most of these are PC only. I do have about six that are available on all platforms, but most of them are just for PC. Now, for this video, I'm on the Mod Test Map. There are a lot to get through. I am not going to do a detailed tutorial on each one. I've got many tutorials out there already on several of these, but we're just going to go over the basics, what each mod does and there are a lot to do so let's get started shall we before i dive right into number one i want to say that i'm going to be adding the modder name to each and every one of these i feel like it's important that we recognize the modders who make these fantastic mods that we can't live without these guys do great work and frankly while giants built the backbone of this fantastic game the modders are the heart and soul and they deserve our recognition with that said, number one is Additional Field Info by Yumi. What this mod does for me, well, it gives me a lot of information about my field. If I walk into my field, I've got the Field Info box, and I'm going to swing up just so you can see this a little bit. In the lower right-hand corner, you can see I can tell how much fertilizer I have, what the growth is, etc., etc. But I can also see whether it needs lime, the entire field area, and even more importantly, it will tell me the potential harvest quantity. So I'm going to know before I even harvest this field pretty much how much I'm going to get off of it. That's pretty handy, and that's additional field info by Yumi. The next mod on my list is additional game settings by Rockstar. No, not the giant game maker who brought you such epics as Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, this is the modder Rockstar, and he gave us additional game settings. What does that do for me? Well, if I go into my settings menu, I've got a new tab here called additional settings. It gives me the opportunity to turn my HUD on or off, crosshair on or off. It allows me to affect many different settings, info dialogues on or off, animal collisions on or off. If you don't like birds, you can turn those off. Many, many things. One thing you can do is change the lighting so that if there's a map that you particularly like the lighting on and it's installed in your folder you can select that and change your map to use that style of lighting that's additional game settings by rockstar the next mod on my list is animal pen extension by gtx animal pen extension gives me water valves that i can use for my animals pigs sheep cows horses now if the map supports them you can place an animal pen and you will have valves that pop up that you can place anywhere you want to. If the map doesn't support animal pen extension, you will get this marker that allows you to hire a plumber to come in and install those valves for you. So I hired my plumber. I waited 48 hours. I advanced time 48 hours. And now you can see I've got this lovely water valve that I can turn on. It's going to fill up my water basin. No more hauling water for my animals. All I have to do is turn it on and it will fill the water to an appropriate level. One other thing that this will do for me, I'm going to show you very, very quickly, especially with cows, well, with cows only, actually, it does give me a nice handy dandy milk contractor sale point. So if I wanted to sell my milk, I could just come here, tell them how much to come and pick up, and for a fee, they're going to buy my milk. That is Animal Pen Extension by GTX. Animal Screen Extended by GTX is next on my list. This gives me some handy tools to use when I'm dealing with animals. If I go to my animal dialog here, I open that up. I can see now that I have 20 of 250 sheep, but if I want to add more, all I have to do is click on the move button and hold it down, and this is going to start ticking sheep over. If you watch that number, it just keeps ticking up. I don't have to click every single time, and the longer I hold it, the faster it goes. So this really allows me to move animals very, very quickly. I find it incredibly useful very quickly, very easily. That is Animal Screen Extended by GTX. I've just jumped over to my Chellington Valley map. 
because this next mod saved my bacon on this particular map. It is the Better Contracts mod by the Emperor of Modding. The problem I was running into on this map, well, if I go into my contracts, all I was getting was bailing, 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 bailing. So much grass work. Nothing else. Well, what does the Better Contracts mod do for me? It saved my bacon because I didn't have these harvesting contracts. I didn't have sowing. It was all bailing. Every contract was bailing. Better Contracts allows me to clear contracts. It will create allow me to create new contracts. But better yet, every map has a base number of contracts it will allow in the list. Better Contracts makes that list longer and puts every single contract that could potentially be available on the map in the list. That's the Better Contracts mod by Emperor of Modding. Next on my list is Buy Used Equipment by Weasel. With this mod installed, if I go into my shop, let's say we're going to buy Harvest Traditional Fent 1050. So I've got my 1050, I'm ready to buy it. Well, now I've got a new option in the shop for condition. I can either buy new or buy used, and I get a $65,800 discount, which roughly translates into about 20 to 25%. If I buy that used, like so, run out here now I've got a used tractor it's all dirty but keep in mind it's going to be completely worn out and have very little fuel left in it that's the downside of buy used equipment but that's a pretty cheap fix compared to what you would normally pay I see this as being very realistic some people see it as a bit of a cheat frankly what farmer doesn't buy used equipment they all do this stuff is expensive and they're gonna find ways to uh, pay less if they can Game mechanics prevent us from genuinely pricing used equipment the way it should be, but for now this is what we have, so that's the Buy Used Equipment mod by Weasel. Courseplay by the Courseplay dev team is a mod that's been in development for a long, long time and just recently came to Mod Hub just within the last couple of weeks. Courseplay is one of those mods that when you start using it, you realize how powerful it is and exactly what you can do with it. Its most basic setup is to generate a course on a field. We're on field 13, so I can select field 13. I can get my helper to do headland passes, which just means going around the outside of the field, set the working width, generate that field course, and now you can see it's going to show you the exact path it would go around that field in right there. Go back to my menu, make sure it's set to start at first waypoint. I can tell this helper to drive this course, and it's going to follow that course precisely. Course play is what I consider to be a helper enhancement mod. It's a it's a mod that allows you to use your helpers more effectively than the base game will and these helpers will do a lot of different tasks from harvesting a field to any type of field work to compacting a bunker silo. That's course play by the course play dev team. The first mod on my list available for all platforms is the CSZ Equipment Pack by DD Mod Passion. In my shop, if I look at CSZ, I can see there are tons of equipment. All kinds of equipment for my front loaders, wheel loaders, telehandlers, skid steers, all kinds of stuff. There is, however, one piece of equipment I always install this mod for, and that is the Big Bag Handler. If I buy a Big Bag Handler, this thing is a lifesaver. This is the big bag handler. It will lift pretty much anything. I can go over to these bale stacks right here. And this, this keep in mind, this is very aggressive. So I'm probably going to grab a lot more bales here than I need to. Yeah, you can see it actually grabbed eight bales instead of just the four I was looking for. But this thing is what I'm really looking for when I want to move anything. The CSZ big bag handler. For content creators, when you can get it, this next mod is an absolute necessity, at least in my opinion, and that is Easy Dev Controls by GTX. Easy Dev Controls gives me options for many, many things. I can add money, I can teleport vehicles, I can clear tip areas, add pallets, I can affect the environment, I can infect, uh, affect my player, I can turn on flight mode, I can turn on super strength, I can run faster, I can set my fields to anything that I like. And then I have many, many options that affect my vehicles as well. Easy Development Commands is a great tool for content creators and for those who just want to be able to affect their gameplay a little bit more. That's Easy Development Controls by GTX. 
Next on my list and available for all platforms is the Flegal Dolly by Chris Jo. If I go into my shop, look at my dollies. I've got the Flegal Dolly right here. This thing is so incredibly handy. I'm going to buy one very quickly. The Flegal Dolly is fantastic because it will attach to most pieces of equipment, even this forage harvester. I did a complete tutorial on forage harvester trailers and I used the Flegal Dolly. I can use the Flegal Dolly to attach to pretty much any semi-trailer and haul it with pretty much any vehicle. I mean, you know, weight and all of that is still going to play a, a role, but now I can go out and forage my field if I want to, and I've got a trailer I can pull right behind me. That's the Flegal Dolly by Chris Joe. Follow Me by Decker MMIV is one of the most powerful mods that I have ever found personally. It does many, many things. While basic in concept, it actually has a lot of uses that you can set it up for. The most simple is if I want to just get a tractor to follow me back to my farm, I can pull it up behind my lead tractor, control F, and now I've got follow me set up and anywhere I go, this big old fence is going to follow me. This can be set up in multiple configurations with as many helpers as you can get to work, which is 10. We did that test also. Check out my Follow Me tutorial if you want more information about Follow Me by Decker MMIV. The next mod I always install is called Full Stop by Neru Vishon. Quite a mouthful there. But with Full Stop, as I'm running down the field through my or harvesting my field, when I get to a full harvester, it's going to automatically stop me dead in my tracks, turn off the header, and put out the pipe waiting to be unloaded. That's Full Stop by Nadu Vishchon. Next on my list is kind of a two-in-one. It's actually two mods, but I consider them a group. Why aren't they bundled together? I don't know, but they should be. That's Global Company and the Global Company add-on icons by LS Mod Company. What can Global Company do for me? Well, it allows me to place factories on my farm to utilize more of my crop, dynamic storages. It'll tell me where, what kind of errors I'm getting with Global Company mods. And it gives me a lot of different options. Activate extended placeables, show object info, horse helper, activate more trees, activate cut bales. All of these are explained in my three-part tutorial on Global Company. What do the add-on icons do for me? Well, if I go into my prices menu, instead of those ugly black and white symbols that nobody can seem to decipher, I get nice little colored pictures that tell me exactly, or much more easily tell me exactly what my crop is. These are much easier to decipher. That's Global Company and the Global Company add-on icons by LS Mod Company. What other mods do you install, Harv? Well, next on my list is Guidance Steering by Wapster, also known as GPS. I would be completely lost without this one. This one allows me to maximize my tool width, and it's very simple to set up. Once it's installed, all I have to do is turn it on. I can go into my menu, make sure that my width is set properly, go in and set my heading. In this case, we are at a, going 180 degrees. I have a full tutorial on how to use GPS. But now all I have to do is turn it on and start down the field. And you can see that the lines are showing me exactly where GPS is functioning or how it's functioning, the lane that it's functioning in. I don't even have to touch the steering wheel. GPS will take me to the end of the field. When I turn around, this line will shift over to the next row and maximize my tool width completely. It will be lined up exactly along this edge. That's GPS by Wapster. Another great mod is GWN Farm Supply by Quiet Hitman. That's Great White North Farm Supply. If I go into my shop, I can see I can buy single bags. That's pretty handy, 50 liters at a time. Be wary, the single bags can fall through the earth. <laughs> they will disappear on you if you're not careful with them. The other handy thing is I can buy virtually anything with this pack. Lots and lots of options, but not only that, Let's say I wanted to buy seed, I can buy that 2100 liters for $1,400, not a bad price, but I can buy that in bulk, buy a double pallet of that seed, and I get many, many options on my liquid tanks as well, herbicide, fertilizer, milk, slurry, water, def, pretty much anything I want, I can buy with the GWN Farm Supply Pack, 
by Quiet Hitman. HUD Toggle by Viper GTS 96 Now, I can turn off my HUD in a, num a number of different ways at this point. I can do it through a couple of different mods, but the nice thing about HUD Toggle is all I have to do is hold down Alt-1 and it turns my HUD off. Fantastic. If I see something I want to take a quick screenshot of, I can just turn it off and on. Nice, quick, and simple. No problem whatsoever. That's HUD Toggle by Viper GTS 96 I would absolutely be lost without this next mod. I have used it so often. That's the Info Message HUD by Sperigabyte. Now, if I've got my controls menu open and I pull up to this lime station, it's going to tell me when I can start filling, right? Right. Well, I don't like to have my controls menu open. I feel like it gets in the way of a lot. I like to see better. But with the info message HUD, if I pull up, I can see in the upper left hand corner, it's going to tell me when I get to that trigger and I can start filling. I still get that information even though I don't have my controls menu open. This works with pretty much any trigger. So if I pull up to this fuel pump, it will tell me when I can start fueling my tractor. That's the info message HUD by Sparagabite. I always install the liquid silo by Missy B. Now, the liquid silos, they'll store pretty much any liquid you like, and they are a fine mod. And frankly, I like Missy B's mods. She's done a lot of good ones, and she's turning into a respectable map maker. But I don't install the liquid silos for the silo. I install them for these two bad boys, the 25,000 liter and the 60,000 liter tanker trailers that she's included in that pack. I use these frequently. You can get them in any color combination that you like. They are fantastic tankers. In fact, I just used them quite a bit on my Ravensburg playthrough. That's the Liquid Silos by Missy B. Black Sheep Modding brings us the Lizard Subsoiler 6M, the next mod on my list. This thing is fantastic. It's small, it's easy to use, and you don't need a lot of power. I can use it on the front or the rear of my tractor. I can just drop this down and this is going to subsoil my field. Now technically this is listed as a plow, so if you're looking for it in the shop, look under plows, not subsoilers, even though it's called a subsoiler. However, one of the great features that this thing also brings to the table is that it will allow you to create fields. Nice, square, even, straight. If I turn on create fields, drop that bad boy down, you can see it's going to create a brand new field right here through this grass. The Lizard Subsoiler 6M by Black Sheep Modding, one that I install every single time. This next mod is one I've just started using recently and have fallen in love with. It's the Lumberjack mod by Loki79. Great thing about this mod, well one, it will allow me to cut trees much much quicker, but it also always keeps my targeting reticle active. It will also grind stumps, so when I grind, walk up to a stump, my reticle will turn red. I can chainsaw that stump right out and you can see I can see exactly where I'm targeting it's kind of difficult to see but I can walk right down this and delimb this tree with no problem one of the other great features that this mod has if you've got a pesky tree you just want to get out of your way walk up to it hold down the alt key grind that and it's going to completely delete that tree that tree is gone Lumberjack mod is fantastic, and the last thing I'll show you is that I get super strength at the push of a button. If I walk up, hold down my alt key, normally I couldn't pick up this tree, but with the Lumberjack mod I can. That's Lumberjack by Loki79. Royal Modding brings us the Map Objects Hider. This thing is fantastic. I use it all the time. It makes getting rid of things I don't want around the map so easy. All I have to do is walk up to it, hit H, and select yes and it will hide that object. I can do that as many times as I want. Boom, Bob's your uncle. I want all of this stuff out of the way because I want to put a shed here or do whatever and I can get rid of it all. That's the map objects hider. If I hit hold shift H, I can bring up a list and see exactly what I've hidden and restore that if I want to. One other great function of the map objects hider is if I've placed a bunch of objects and I've thrown down a few of these little sand castles here and let's say I put just one in the wrong place. Well instead of having to go through my garage and trying to figure out which one all I have to do is walk up to it, hit H and it's going to ask me if I want to sell that one sand castle. I hit OK and it's gone and I get my money back. Nice easy way to sell when you've got multiple things. That's the map objects hider by Royal Modding. 
next on my list just to add a little realism to my gameplay and i'm not going to say i'm the most realistic player but occasionally i do like things that brings a sense of realism it's also a two for one it's the real dirt color and real dirt color fix by viper gts 96 and you can see i'm going through this field of lime and it's throwing lime on my tires instead of just dirt that's what this particular mod does for you it just brings that sense of realism if i were in a grass field my wheels would start to turn green and as I come out of this field, you can see my tractor is uh, blowing the lime off behind me instead of kicking up dirt. That's Real Dirt Color and Real Dirt Color Fix by Viper GTS 96 Now I've jumped over to Ravensport for just a minute to show you the Real Mower Mod by Kenny456. We've all wondered why when I mow my grass do the bushes and the weeds get ignored by my mower. Well... When you install the Real Mower Mod by Kenny456, that is no longer an issue. Currently I have it deactivated, but once I activate that bad boy and I drive across this, you are going to be able to mow out all of your bushes, all of these nasty little weeds, all of it is going to get mowed down. That's the Real Mower Mod by Kenny456, and it's a fantastic mod that I personally can't live without. Viper GTS 96 brings us store deliveries. This is such a handy mod, I would not be without it. If I don't want to have to run all the way to the shop, let's say I'm in a field, run out of seed, don't want to have to run all the way to the shop to pick up more, I can just set my store marker right here next to my field, go in, buy a pallet of seed, and we'll just buy Great White North. Absolutely, double pallet, buy, yes. Bob's your uncle right there the pallet is delivered. I can set that marker anywhere I want to and have anything delivered. No more running back and forth from the shop. Now there is a fee. You are going to pay a percentage of delivery cost, but you can have everything delivered right to your farm, right to your field, anywhere you want it with the store deliveries mod by Viper GTS 96. This next mod I find extremely handy and I always install it just in case I need it. I won't say I use it every time, but I do use it quite frequently. And that is the Toolbox mod by FentFan79 and LS Agro Service. Go into my shop, look under miscellaneous, go all the way to the end. I've got the Toolbox mod. The great thing about this, it has a very small footprint. I can place it virtually anywhere. Well, anywhere not on a road apparently, but I can plop it down right here jump in my tractor, pull right up to that toolbox and repair up with no problem whatsoever. I doubt this tractor needs any repair, but you get the idea. It's a repair shop in a box <laughs> and it's very, very tiny. I guess I can repair it a little bit. Oops, so there you go. That's the toolbox mod by FentFan79 and LS Agroservice. Everybody loves to hate swivel axle trailers. We know what a hassle they can be, but that's not the case if you install the trailer axle blocker by the FSSA modding team. This is one that I just came to recently thanks to my friend Caveman. He pointed it out to me. And we all know that backing up a swivel axle trailer is a real pain in the neck. See the swivel starts just swinging and there's not much you can do to save it but with the trailer axle blocker now that i'm at least in line i can lock that front axle so the swivel doesn't swivel anymore and i can treat this pretty much just like a standard trailer and back it in wherever i want to with no problem that's the trailer axle blocker by fssa modding team i'm not going to say it works on every swivel axle trailer but most swivel axle trailers it will Again, Trailer Axle Blocker by FSSA Modding Team. Vehicle Speed Sync by GTX is a fantastic and very handy mod. The thing that it does for me, well I can pull up next to this harvester, I hold down shift and hit 4, and it's automatically going to set my speed to match that of the harvester. So I don't have to fiddle around with my cruise control, I don't have to do anything. All I have to do is pull up next to this vehicle, hit shift 4 and now all of a sudden I am running the exact same speed with no problem easy peasy that is vehicle speed sync by GTX now we've all been driving down the road trying to get a tractor or something else back to our farm and it slides off the trailer because vehicle straps will not strap that in or uh, trailer straps won't strap that in well the vehicle straps mod 
by Kenny456 solves that problem. All I have to do is hit Control S, and now you can see that tractor has tire chocks on it. Even if I try to drive this tractor off this trailer, it's not going anywhere. It's going to sit there, its wheels are going to spin, it is locked into my trailer. I don't have to worry about it coming off. This is a brilliant mod. Kenny 456, you hit one out of the park on this one in my opinion, but not only will it hold stuff or hold a vehicle in place, you can see this stuff wants to shift around on the trailer. I hit control S. It locks in the pallets, it locks in my implements, it locks in absolutely everything, and it's not going anywhere. That's the vehicle straps mod by Kenny 456, one of my all-time favorites. If you need water almost anywhere and you don't have access to animal pen extension, say you need water for your animals, you need it for a factory, you need it somewhere on the farm, you need an easy way to get water, well this mod, Water Standpipe by CNS Modding and Marie, is going to sort you out. The Water Standpipe is absolutely fantastic, I install it all the time, and the thing is, is it's so small you can practically place it anywhere. Just about anywhere, obviously. Right there, I've got a water spout right next to my animal pen. I can plant, th plant this down anywhere I want to. It's so small, it will virtually go anywhere. That's the Water Standpipe by CNS Modding and Marie. And the final mod is last, but certainly not least, and that is the Workshop Tabber by Lord Banana. Since I've got all this stuff loaded up on a trailer, I can pull into my workshop area workshop tabber allows me to open my workshop and instead of having to fiddle around and trying to get what in there whatever in there that I want to work on I can just hit the tab button and it will cycle through anything that's within range and I can do repairs on the fly for multiple pieces of equipment that's the workshop tabber mod by Lord Banana and those are the 30 mods I absolutely can't live without and a big, big shout out to the fantastic modders who make our gameplay so much more enjoyable. Even if you didn't make the list, I want to let all modders know that everything you do for the FS community is very much appreciated. Thank you, G Meister, for the suggestion. I'm glad I followed up on it and hope this helps you out, bud. That's going to do it for my 30 mods that I can't live without. I hope you enjoyed it, found it informational or otherwise. If you did, Please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. As always, I appreciate you coming along for the ride. And until next time, take care.